Now the athletes at state schools in North Carolina have the opportunity to join a union for $9 a month. Many concerns are being brought to the table. Players at private schools in North Carolina, like Duke and Wake Forest, however, are not eligible to join, only the 17 public schools. Did North Carolina state schools just gain a huge advantage? Well, schools without unions could have a big financial advantage, but unionized schools could provide financial benefits to athletes. Athletes at union schools might also have better conditions, like fewer playing practice hours, and they may have negotiated stipends, which is that going to be more attractive to a recruit? Well, of course it is. If athletes at private schools unionize, universities will be required to bargain collectively, which is a huge advantage to where now the rules are dictated by colleges and the NCAA. The NCAA currently bans paying athletes or offering them benefits beyond scholarship, but this has already changed in the last month regarding food allowances for athletes. Will there be a point where the NCAA needs to step in? And did they bring this all upon themselves, having disregarded earlier concerns that have been around for over a year? This all could, this all does run counter to the NCAA's philosophy, universal rules for all schools, which is why the governing body must step in now. CAPA is saying for now, their main focus is coverage for sports-related medical expenses for current and former athletes, reducing head injuries and potentially letting players pursue commercial sponsorships. But the NCAA could not allow some schools to have one rule that might hurt the, them in recruiting. It does have to be the same for every school, regardless of whether they are unionized or not. So where is this all leading? Well, it's not difficult to imagine this eventually leading to further negotiations over the right to do endorsements, direct payment to players, and limit on practice time. Also, compensation for memorabilia could be in the future. For Football.com, I'm Abby Atwater.